Yo guys and what is going on? My name of course is the Tom Davis 255 and I'm back today guys with a brand new video and today guys we are doing a tutorial on Photoshop so yeah this is gonna be awesome so I'm gonna show you how to turn this image this photo right here on the screen into this photo on the screen so yeah so look at the comparisons and hopefully you're gonna like this tutorial hit the like button if you do and let's jump into it so the only thing you'll need in this um tutorial is photoshop so i've got it right here adobe photoshop cc this works for all photoshop versions and it works for uh, pc and mac okay so what you want to do is make a new project so i've already got a document type pre-saved saved pre-saved saved, pre -saved, saved. Um, so what you want to do is make the width a uh, thousand pixels and the height 1428 pixels so make sure this is obviously on pixels so if it's on any of the others just change the pixels like that uh, please make the resolution 150 pixels per inch so that's how you're going to do that and then uh, leave this color mode as it is or you can change it if you know you go different to me you can change it to that okay and then the color the background color needs to be white you know transparent background color or white to make sure it's white and then click on okay so you've done the first step that is awesome right because with tutorials on like photoshop and things i tend to go try and go a little bit slow because some people might not you know know how to do this as fast so if you think i'm going a bit too slow leave some comments and i'll try and make it faster next time okay so what you want to do on a mac you need to come to file and open or on a computer just drag it in you know whatever you do to actually get a photo you want into photoshop so i'm just going to click on let's have a look i don't know if we're going to go a little bit of photos on you um let's use this one the one of me and alex okay so that's a nice photo of me and alex quite like this photo so let's change it okay so on a so come over to the side here you know we you know this panel is here I, I can't remember the actual name of this panel on the side here but basically this is where the background is so on a Mac uh, click command and J okay so command and J and is the same on um, a PC but obviously that's got control instead of command okay so you should have a layer one now so if people i just show it now if people don't like doing um you know if people don't actually like doing commands you could just drag the background and you could just go in so drag it and I pull it down to here so it should make a background copy that is the same thing but it's better to just do commands it's quicker so okay so once you've done that and you've got your first layer all you want to do is come down right down the bottom here again as I just showed you you know just said and go to this one here that says uh, layer adjustment adjustment layer so click that and you should have a nice little menu like that it might be different on computer in PC because I actually can't remember even though I did have a PC before Mac um, so what you want to do then is come up to uh, hue and saturation so once you uh, go, click on that it should have a nice pop-up window like this Okay, so what you want to do, the saturation tab here, this one by you, drag it to the point where it says one hundred, uh, negative 100. So your image should now be black and white. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so once you've done that, that is perfect, you've done that. Okay, so then once you've done that, click on layer 1. So it should be like, clicked on that, but click on layer 1. And make sure it's active the way you know it's active is that box that box here is like around the image so that is being active so that's all good so once you've done that come down to uh here and then come to where is it color dodge okay so you'll see so your background or your image should now be like really light and like that basically so that's all good you've done this right you've done it right so now what you want to do is on a Mac again is command and I and is the same on Windows but obviously control and I on uh, Windows so once you click that now that means inverted colors so if you have seen an iPhone and you go in settings you go in inverted colors it makes all colors different on Photoshop it makes your background go like white like this but that's all good you've done that correct so if it's like this 
um, that's correct. If it ain't, you've sort of done something wrong, so maybe like go back in the video and have a look. Okay, so let me just pull my mic a little bit closer because I do know if you can actually hear me. Okay, so um, your background, or your, I keep saying background, your image should be like this now, very good. Okay, so what you want to do then is on a Mac, you should come up to the top here, and if you're on a Windows, it should be like around here. And what you want to do is come to Filter, Blue, Blue, I can't, I can never say Blue, right? Blue, it's always, it's always my French teacher showing me how to do it, if it's Blue, Blue, and then come down from blue and then it should be this blue here I'm not even going to pronounce saying that but it's that blue click on that blue and then there you go you have now uh, made your image like sketched and like people like that's not really that sketched you can see it's sketched but it's not the best so this is what this is for you will just play about with this like have a bit of a play about and see what works uh so yeah like it's... sorry i'm a little bit of a fractionist i gotta try and make this looks okay well i quite like that that's perfect so mine's at uh 20.4 so that's what i've got my at you click on okay and there you go i have now made you know people on like art and things are really good at art and they can sketch well who needs a pencil anymore we can do it on photoshop so yeah